The presidential visit comes at a crucial time as the U.S. is running out of money for Ukraine's war effort against Russia, and a growing number of Republicans are becoming wary of sending new funding to Ukraine. The White House is hopeful that this direct appeal from President Zelensky himself will get Congress to act. Putin must lose. Speaking at the National Defense University in Washington on Monday, President Zelensky urging Americans to stay in the fight, framing Russia's war against Ukraine as an existential threat against democracy itself. Russia is set on more than just Ukraine's land. Ukraine is just a stepping stone. The speech, part of a charm offensive by Zelensky. Over the weekend, he was in Argentina, meeting with other heads of state at the inauguration of the country's new president. And on Tuesday, he'll be heading to the White House in Capitol Hill, urging lawmakers to continue funding Ukraine's defense against Russia. We can't let Putin win. President Joe Biden wants Congress to approve a $106 billion package in new spending, including over $60 billion for Ukraine. The White House says that Ukraine funding will run out by the end of the year if Congress doesn't act. Welcome back to Washington. On Monday, Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin arguing that the U.S. needs to stand by Ukraine. If we do not stand up to the Kremlin's aggression today, if we do not deter other would-be aggressors, we will only invite more aggression, more bloodshed, and more chaos. But on Capitol Hill, the path forward is unclear, as support for Ukraine funding has plummeted among Republicans. Conservative Congressman Matt Gates of Florida posting over the weekend, America has sent enough money to Ukraine. We should tell Zelensky to seek peace. Right now, the push and pull is really a political push and pull. Senate Republicans like James Lankford of Oklahoma say they'll only support more Ukraine aid if they get significant concessions from Biden on border policy to curb the influx of migrants crossing the southern border. All we're trying to do is to say what tools are needed to be able to get this back in control so we don't have the chaos on our southern border. Now, Congress has a really tight window here. They go on their Christmas break on Thursday, and then they're going to be gone for some three weeks. The White House is warning that unless they act now, all of that U.S. aid for Ukraine could be completely exhausted by the time they get back. Reporting here on Capitol Hill, I'm Evan Kozlov, Spectrum News.